welcome to the third installment of our three part series of what to do with one chicken and make three meals out of it today we're doing our soup i said soup but really it's like a chili so this was the bag i used for s for soup it's got a cup of broth in it and then some chicken so since i didn't use it right away i went ahead and froze it so this is thawed out we're gonna just throw it all in a dutch oven pot this is six quart pot and then I'm gonna since I'm gonna try and feed a bunch of people and hopefully make maybe two meals out of it maybe a dinner and a lunch the next day or something I'm gonna add water to it this is four cups of water I'll probably add even a little bit more probably until it gets to this little grommet thingy there <laughs> the little screw thingy anyways so this is good in a crock pot as well, and it's very good in cold weather. This recipe is a nice fast version because I've had recipes before where you make the nice white saucy kind of stuff, and you use the dry beans, and then you soak them, and then you cook them in a crock pot for four hours, and that way tastes delicious. And if you have the time, then that's wonderful. I'm going for the canned beans. It makes it's really just as delicious to me, you know, especially once the flavors start, you know, mixing and stuff. They jive together and it's just as good. So, um, I'm going to, see, I haven't filled the water all the way because I was like, eh, I don't want to, like, put the water here and then have the beans be, like, all here and then spill it out of my pot. So, I'm going to go ahead and leave the goo in there of these great northern beans. Hey, look, here's a recipe for white chicken chili right here. If you want to drain the beans, you can. I've done it before with the drained beans. My kids like the beans. If you stir it and you say, you know what, there needs to be more beans, <laughs> then you could add three. I think I might add three and a little bit more water. So here's my third can of beans. Oh my gosh. It sounded great. Ugh, I know, that's what I was just thinking. I was <laughs> like, this is so appetizing already. All right, anyways, it really is. This is a can of chopped green chilies. This is a four and a half ounce can. Um, four ounces would be okay, whatever. I think I'll just do a scoop and call it good. We're gonna heat this up and go from there. And let it do its thing. Shoot, I forgot to tell you guys about spices. So you can salt and pepper to taste. Uh, I usually, um, check the broth and taste it and see if it's spicy or not spicy salty enough I put some bouillon cubes in there so I'm kind of waiting for them to dissolve before I add any more to it and see if it kind of needs it but I usually add at least at this point a teaspoon of cumin and a teaspoon of oregano so that's what we're gonna do now and then you can add more or less to taste I'm just gonna kind of crumple it up a little as I put it in and then the cumin. If you really like hot, you can add like some cayenne pepper. Oh my gosh, I would never do that. <laughs> I'm not a very spicy person. So get your Monterey Jack cheese ready. If you don't have it already shredded, at this point you could be shredding it with your shredder, your grater, and get some sour cream and some fresh limes you are gonna want this my kids love freshly squeezed limes in their bowl of white chicken chili in fact in my opinion if you don't have fresh limes just don't make it okay because this is the stuff that makes it just like the best thing ever anyways I'm not I have an opinion on this I'm telling you have a lime <laughs> it's been simmering for a while since our beans were already cooked um, you just have to kind of heat it through this broth is really good too, so be sure to get some some of that. Right now it looks really thin and mostly clear. It's like a little brownish. Um, but once you add the sour cream, it kind of makes it creamier looking. We're going to slice a lime. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a little dollop of sour cream into my bowl. Stir it up and it makes kind of breaks up into littler bits and you keep stirring and it makes it the white this is where you get the white chicken chili because it's a nice white color and now it's more opaque and then you squeeze 
however much you like, but um, at least a good chunk of lime. This is where you get a lot of good flavor. This gives it a little zip. And it's so good. The last thing we're going to do to dress it is some shredded Monterey Jack cheese. And it'll kind of be all nice and melty because it's still warm. You could add salsa or tomatoes or whatever else you want, but this is what we do. And it's probably one of my one of my favorite soups. <laughs> it's just so good. Like I could probably eat a bowl for breakfast, lunch, and dinner tomorrow. <laughs> You guys try some because odds are you're gonna love this and add it to your repertoire if you already don't have a white chicken chili uh, that you make you gotta try it thank you for watching we'll see you next time on the green apple home